Good morning and welcome to something very, very different from me altogether. I am going to test the two cameras side by side. I've got the Canon and I'm just setting my ISO up at the moment if you can see 160 so it's the same as the Fuji because the Fuji is 160 on the top there that's as low as it will go. I am testing the Fuji X-T3 and the Canon 5D Mark IV. I own them both, they're both mine, bought and paid for. Um, I was just interested to see what the difference in the dynamic range would be um, and how different they'd handle the same situation on the same sort of settings. So I've got the Canon, uh, I'm going to set that to zero. The histogram saying it's quite dark, which is fine because this is the test. I'm shooting and focusing F8 and I'm focusing at ISO 160 right down the centre. I'm focusing down there. Um, I'm on average metering. Um, I'm in aperture priority, just so that the cameras are doing a little bit of work together rather than a man full 100% manual. It is very dark. I'm just shooting straight down the reflection um, just to try and do a strip panoramic. Um, it's early morning. I've been up at uh, 6 o'clock and there's a little bit of mist just starting. But yesterday morning, I'll put that one on fire. Yesterday morning, it was gorgeous on the way to work and I pass here. Right, same again. This is actually giving me a different shutter setting. That's 0.4 of a second. This is actually giving me 1.2 of a second on the same settings, which is very, very interesting. Um, I'm going to shoot again straight down the middle. That's focus, back button focusing on this one. Uh, timer is on, two second timer. So that's two exactly the same settings on two very, very different cameras. The only difference I've got on this one is I'm set to daylight, whereas the Canon is set to um, standard. So ideally I could do is switching that to off and I just can't remember how to turn off me um, vivid. Oh, oh, I just noticed something different as well and I've knocked it off. I just noticed I knocked the dial on the top. Um, so it wasn't giving me an average meter reading. It was centre weighted. Right, so again, we're set to zero. Everything's set to zero. ISO 160, and this is now giving me 2.3 seconds, which is a bit strange. Um, completely different settings for cameras sat side by side. Very, very interesting. And they're both in aperture priority, which is interesting. Right, we're going to walk down the canal, and uh, yeah, let's go and set the camera up somewhere else and try something a little bit different. I thought I'd better explain what we're doing. And number one, I know why the settings were a lot different on the Fuji to the Canon just now, because I left the polarizer on the front of the Fuji, because it's normally always on there, because it's very easy to attach. Um, so I've taken another image. The plan this morning, right, in one of my recent videos, or a couple of weeks ago, I mentioned that I'm gonna test out my two cameras, the Fuji, XT3, which I've recently purchased, or well, say recently, I've had it a few weeks now, and uh, the Canon 5D Mark IV, which I've had for some time. Absolutely love the Canon. It is probably by far the superior camera. It's full frame, the dynamic range is superb, and uh, yeah, I'm not even gonna knock it. But the Fuji XT3 has grown on me. The XT1 I had, or still have, wasn't so great, I didn't really gel with it, but it was good for the street. 
and the XT2 well it was a good upgrade but the XT3 definitely loving it absolutely loving it and as you know if you watch me and you regular to my channel that that's my go-to camera now it's lighter a little bit easier to carry I just love playing around with it so so simple um, there's not a lot of difference in setting up cameras in all fairness the 5d mark 4 is not really hard once you get to know how to use it but the Fuji just seems easy with a live view and stuff like that it's just it's a fun camera to use and uh, I'm not in this for making it hard for myself I'm in this for having some fun with me photography right I'm breathing because I'm walking I'm carrying two tripods and my camera bag and I know you still haven't seen me yet, but I am here. I am here. Um, there's a little bit of orange in the sky. And the sun's coming up very fast. And because it's a clear sky, it's really bright, really quick. So I probably won't get to a location in time to actually get the sunrise. But I'm going to try. Been here before, as my long-time followers would know. Uh, I did uh, a morning mist here. And it is actually in my calendar. Um, the photograph I took down here. Oh, let's have a look on the bridge first. The photograph I took down here is actually in the calendar this year. Uh, the morning mist, and it was gorgeous. And yesterday on the way to work, this was stunning. Because I only work, well, just down the road down there. Uh, looking pretty down the canal, but let's get a bit closer to the water, I think. Better test with some more dynamic range. Excuse me for sniffing, because I've got a bit of a sniffles this morning. And uh, I know it's rude, but both my hands are full. I've got one camera down here and a tripod here, so. All right, I'm on the edge of the canal now. There's not a drop of mist, which is a shame, because yesterday I was in tears. <laughs> but yeah, we'll make our way down the side. I'm not gonna talk when I walk past these boats because I expect a lot of people to be asleep along here. So I'm gonna shut up talking and I'll speak to you down the other end. Hello. <laughs> yep, it's me. You can now see me. And I know you're probably all going to switch off now. Um, I've come up the end of the canal a little bit further and uh, it's gone a bit quieter now. We've got a nice little bridge up here which I've taken photographs, like I said before, um, in the lovely morning mist. And uh, you'll have to check out that video. I'll uh, try and find a link for you and put it up the top for you now so you can have a look. Because it was a really lovely morning uh, last October. We are in September at the moment. It's probably October now as you're watching this. Um, but we are in September and I will try and get this out quite quick. Um, but I've got a massive backlog of uh, videos for you. I really have. It's just crazy. I'm just missing them out and I'm working on one at the moment which you've probably already seen from the beginning of the year. It's just because I want to get it out. Um, I just want to mention one thing. We've got a workshop coming up, a group workshop, and it's, uh, well, I'm going to park here, I think, because there's a good dynamic range over to test the camera. Um, yeah, there's a group workshop coming out for uh, up to six people, six uh, budding photographers, whether you're good, bad, or just downright ugly. Um, it's in the end of November, it's 29th, 30th, and the 1st of December. Uh, up to six people, that's that plus one. And uh, it's with me and Jason Jones. Jason Jones, I'm sure many of you have already seen. Uh, he's been going a lot longer than me from North Wales. And it's gonna be a North Wales experience, so check out my vlog. No, check out my website, paulcomptonpdphotography.co.uk, or Jason Jones, which is jasonjonesphotography.co.uk. And I'm fucking up, I can't see a thing because I've stopped. So yeah, do that and uh, yeah, check out the uh, workshop. It's going to be really good. And I'm also going to plug my calendar. Please, 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 if you haven't already got one, get yourself my 2020 calendar. It is amazing and I'm so over the moon to everyone that's showed their support by buying one already. Um, 
Let's put them on my head for a minute, see if I can lose them in the lake or canal. Right, shut up, let's get these cameras set up because there's no point me ruffling on. Let's get these done. Real time again, both the cameras on the tripods. I'm using my favorable big massive Benru and I've also got me Winston out. Um, so I've got the two tripods on the go. Let's take the lens caps off. I'm going to do something really, really bad. I'm going to take the polarizer off. I'm going to put it inside the lens cap, which is actually, look at that. <laughs> that is fantastic. I've just invented a new filter holder. Right, just so it's fair game. Camera on and camera on. All right, we need to put a live view on. Look at that for dynamic range. We are going to set the camera up quite simple and basic. We have got lead in line from the pathway. We're going to go wide angle. There's no color in the sky, it's just bland. So we're going to use the reflection. We are going to set it up at about, can't see what we're on, 24 millish on the full frame. But I'm trying to get them both roughly the same. Get the level, you can see there we're going to try and get the level level which is somewhere around there I want the front of the boat leading you through to the bridge as it is that's that one set up i'm going to focus let's focus slap bang on that number one on the side of the boat and we are going to back this off one stop if you can see there the histogram you might not be able to see it the histogram is moving so I'm going to do this in brackets. I am going to, I'm going to shoot zero and then I'm going to back it off two stops. All right, that's that one set up. Let's just get this one set up. Same sort of composition. I've got the wide angle lens on them both. Um, so they are reading roughly the same, roughly the same setting. Look how quick that was easy to set up. Nice and level. We are going to move that over to there. Back button focusing as it is like that that's now set we have got on the top iso 160 we're on there 160 we are set to zero are we no not quite we are now set to zero we are now set to zero we're in aperture priority we are on two second timer we are on two second timer they're both focused both focus locked they're both on f8 and uh, both on two second timers Look at that, two cameras side by side, both exactly the same exposures. Um, histogram on this one, yes, definitely blowing at the highlights and definitely blowing at the highlights. So we're now gonna wind this down, two stops, and we're still clipping the highlights, but we'll go for that in a moment. And again with this one, we're gonna wind it down, two stops. You can now see there, two stops, two stops. Same again, side by side, two second timers. I so say the only difference with the Fuji is I've got daylight and the um, Vivia set up on the screen, which in RAW it doesn't matter. Um, so there's me two images. I'm just going to try one even more. I'm going to go right down to three stops, and I'm going to write down to three stops. Why not? If you're going to use memory up, use it up properly. So that's that. Right, switch them both back to zero. Switch that one back to zero. That's it. So I'm just going to knock them off. And I'm going to go just down underneath that canal and uh, set up a longer shot looking down the canal.
just um, just going to set up my um, metering mode. I'm going to put them on spot metering. This might make it fair game. And uh, oh, and I'm going to knock off this. I've just remembered how to do it. Go into my menu. Go into Velvia. Put it on standard. And it's on daylight still. Let's put the white balance on this one on daylight. Where are we? Let's go. Let's turn live view off. Let's switch. Oh, live view off. Q. We're going to go to white balance and we're going to switch it over to cloudy daylight. Oh, we'll go with that one. Daylight. Right, let's try that. Live view back on. Okay, they're both now set up pretty, pretty much the same. F8, F8. I'll tell you what, let's try a different F-stop on this. Let's go. Yeah, I'm goosey. Let's go to F11, just to make it a bit different. And on the Fuji, we've got to click it on the front ring. Very old style, not really me. Right, so we're on spot metering. We are on spot metering. We are at ISO 160, we are at ISO 160. Uh, we are set to zero. Uh, exposure, zero exposure. We need the two second timer on because I've turned it off and I hate the Fuji because it goes off. The Canon, it stays on, which is brilliant. Uh, this is giving me 30 if of a second and this is giving me 60 if of a second. So there is a difference straight away um, with the two cameras. Let's like say the dynamic range, this is really, 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 really dark. So I'm going to have to do something with this in a minute. I'm going to take probably three exposures. I'm going to start with this one because it's not clipping the highlights which is really really good i'm set right down on that tree focus on the distance and this one i am set focus on the distance on that tree they both look slightly different on the back of the screen but they should be about the same let's just move that in a little bit tighter that's better let's move that out just a little bit oh move me focus now let's just move it out just a little bit and spin it round just so i can see the edge of that bush like that one that's better right let's just focus on that tree again there we go this is real time i'm ever so sorry if i'm dragging it on but it is real time i want to keep it as real as possible right they're both pretty much the same both level two second timer two second timer uh aperture priority on them both right let's hit the shutters and just take these two brilliant and now we are going to wind this one down if you can see there we are going to get no we're going to go up we're going to go one and I'm going to go to two stops to try and give me some detail in them shadows. And on this one, we're going to go up two stops. And that's why I like the Fuji, because it's there on the top, dead easy. Two stops, two second timers. Clickety click. And uh, yeah, we've got details. I reckon that's a good enough test. Let's go back to zero. And let's go back to zero, just so we know we're on a baseline. Right, there's nothing else happening really with them. So... That's all I can do for that. Job done. So I'm going to leave them there a minute. I'm going to get myself a cup of coffee and I'm just going to spin around and talk to you. Well, two cameras set up. You can now see the two cameras in front of me. There they are. Two very different camera sizes. The big uh, Canon full frame um, I've got the 16 to 35 on there, which is the wide angle, which is a fantastic lens if you're interested. Um, I've got my filter ring on from um, my Lee kit. And uh, here's my little Fuji, which is not so little, but it is a lot littler than this one. Littler, is that a word? And this one's got the 10 to 24 on. So equivalently, they're about the same sort of lenses because um, this is a crop sensor. Um, it's cropping down on the 10 to 24 and giving you about the same as this, a 16 to 35. So that's what you would buy like for like if you were buying these two cameras. Um, I'm not doing this as a plug. Um, and this one has got the filter ring on for my case system. So I've got my Lee system and my case system. Um, and you're probably all saying, oh God, yeah, this guy's always going on about all his products. Well, I'm not. I don't think I am. I mentioned what I'm using because you are interested in knowing. Um, and that's really all I just mentioned it for. It's not about buying and selling. Everything I have is bought by me. I do not get anything given. And this is all bought by me. But I will mention this one thing. Uh, k and Concept have been in contact and have asked me if I would review their filter system. And I thought, as I own Lee and Case, 
What a brilliant way to do all three and do an honest, real-time Compton-style review. I will not bull anybody. I will tell you the truth for what I see and what I do. And everything that I'm doing here, these setups are what I am doing. There's no professionalism about it. This is just honest, standard, how I'm seeing it. All right, it's no, someone may do things. Ooh, bird just flew in the tree front and laughed at me. Someone may be doing something, seeing this or watching thing. He's not doing a true review. This is not real time. This is not actually factual, you know, but I'm not on about factual. Um, I'm on about testing them like for like, in all fairness. I'm just going to put this back to, just putting that back to uh, multiple uh, exposure, um, reading, blah, blah, blah. Um, look, the sun's coming up. You won't be able to see it, but the sun is definitely coming up. And I wonder if it's worth, I might, I might zoom in and do a, a closer one when the sun come up, because again, what an absolutely massive dynamic range. Um, I was going to test the filters out. Um, the big stoppers or the 10 stoppers if you like but I don't think there's anything I can really test it um, I suppose I can put them on I might do that because I'm waffling on again I might do that I might just clip the two filters on wait till the sun comes up clip the two filters on and just take an exposure one of each I'll do the six stopper and I'll do the 10 stopper and let's just see if there's any color casting between the two of these uh, Lee and Case shall we um, again just for you guys just so you know if you're interested and looking for filters it gives you a bit of a taster of how they work me i'm not too worried because whatever i get i'll uh, change it in uh, lightroom anyway so yeah let's do that get the filters on the front and get this sun coming up and i'm going to have a drop of my coffee I'm going to focus on here like that and like that there i know a focus two second timers here we go ready steady ready steady go and then we've got a boat going out into the frame that's only taken one or is it taken two i don't know hopefully it's taken two it is on bracketing bang there you go quickly let's go this is real good isn't it good fun this i'm going to go up to f18 and i'm going to go up to f oh f18 and just to try again i'm going to shoot them both because they're both out in the distance there's clicking and all sorts going on. It's blowing out highlights and stuff like that. I don't need to go two over stops, do we? Let's go third over. Third over and everything else is under. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. There's two boats in the distance. How about we zoom in? Let's go full zoom. I'm having a laugh now. This is just good. I'm enjoying this. Oh, that's full zoom. All right, full zoom on that one. There's a swan. There's a swan, quick. Focus, focus. Two second timers, there's a swan in the picture. <laughs> right, I'm just being stupid now. I'm gonna switch the cameras off. I'll speak to you in a minute. Where's all me mist and fog? Pardon? Where's all me mist? Yesterday morning it was know, stunning yeah, on I the way to work. Yesterday. yesterday morning was amazing. Yeah. I mean, it was a struggle to drive at this time yesterday. Was it? Morning. In fact, Great. in some places it looked like snow. <laughs> microphone on got my mic in my pocket you probably noticed um, hello <laughs> just gonna do this before we switch off um, I've got the polarizers on still as we know and they are making 
I'm going to turn them so they're off, I think. I'm going to roll it round till they go all the way off because I'm shooting into the sun um, and we don't really need them to be on doing anything. We're going to go for the reflection. That's about as best we're going to get. Right, I'm going to get the two filters out. Uh, bear with me because they're just there. I'm going to get the two filters out and slot them in and uh, show you what these do. Right, here we go, here we go. One filter pouch. Um, and you've seen this before. I'll flip it over my head. We have got in the bag, we are going to go six stop. We are going to take the Lee six stopper, which even though I cleaned them the other day, is covered in dust. This is the six stopper, the IRND um, six stop. And that's going to slide in there. Beautiful, really, really nice feeling sliding that in. Oh no, sad, isn't it? And this is the six stop, where are we? Case filter. And that one's going to go in there. Oh, beautiful. Right, that's going to put a two second timer on. Shooting straight into the sun, I'm going to take two exposures, one set to zero. Uh, where are we? That one's sat, that one's sat. They're both focused, both set up. Uh, two second timer on this one. And that's giving me four for a second. This is giving me 1.6 seconds, which is quite different. They're both very, very different. Highlights are blowing to hell because the sun is right in front of me. These pictures are not going to be any good, I'll tell you that now, but it's going to be a test for the color cast. I'm now going to knock this down to two underexposed. I'm now going to knock this down to two underexposed. And it actually looks nice with the sun in the distance. And the cannon's looking beautiful on the back of the screen. So there's a test. I've done the two of them, both with the six stopper on. There you go. Battery's going to die on the cannon. I've not charged them batteries for a long time. The Fuji's looking beautiful. Two different filter systems, two different filters, two different cameras. that back to zero I'm gonna knock it off because I'm done waffling and I'm gonna put that back to zero like so and I'm gonna knock that off and put these away well hope that was interesting um, I expect half of you are asleep or turned off or just not even bothered watching this um, but I wanted to do this I was interested to see how it works um, Oh, one difference, one difference. When I take the kit filter off, the polarizer comes off. When I take this off, the polarizer is still attached, which is brilliant because I can carry that around with just the polarizer on. Do love that system like that. Um, so, yeah, I hope you're interested in watching that. I'm ever so sorry it was me waffling on and just talking a load of rubbish about filters and stuff like that um, and cameras. But I did want to do this bit of a real test, even if it's just personally for myself. And even if it is personally for myself, I just wanted to video it and show you anyway. So the sun's up now. The wife's at home in bed. I'm going to go back to the bus. I'm going to drink my coffee and uh, go home. I've got a load of calendars to sign this morning. I'm going to sign my calendars and get them off to you because uh, <laughs> it's got to be done. And there's an awful lot to be signed and posted. And I've never done anything like that before. And I didn't realise how much hard work it is. So I do hope you appreciate a little bit of work. So thanks for watching. And um, yeah, maybe like, share and subscribe. And if you're new to this channel, I'm sorry. It's not normally like this. I'm normally a bit crazier and... Uh, out in the mountains somewhere or on a river or in a woods or something like that anyway so till next time ciao don't forget it doesn't matter what camera you got just take whatever you've got and get out and shoot <laughs> you can't shoot unless you're out see you later Just as a quick two seconds at the end of the video, uh, just wanted to show you this. 
this is the calendar it's all here now it's all ready to go so yeah if you haven't got one of these and you do want one of these there are still some available uh, so check out the website don't forget paulcompsonpdphotography.co.uk bye